Greetings, you mighty champion. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and I want to talk about you. I want to talk to you about <laughs> the fact that you can have what you say because real in reality, words are seeds. In Matthew uh, 12, 35, I think I'm going to have to read it. Let me see what it says. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things. An evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil things. But I say unto you that every, this is Jesus talking, I say unto you that every idol, and the word idol, I looked it up before, it means unproductive, negative, stuff like that word that men shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by your words you shall be justified, declared right, blessed. By your words you shall be condemned, cursed. Okay? And let me read it in the Living Bible, verse 37. I probably could have quoted the other one pretty close. Matthew 12, 37. The Living Bible says, your words now, this is, I, this is a revelation I, I, you've got to get. Listen carefully what's being said. Act like your uh, name is on the will of a really rich guy that died and your name's on the will. You would listen carefully what's being read by the attorney, right? Okay, listen to this. The Living Bible, Matthew 12, 37 says, your words now affect your fate then, and then it says you will either be justified, blessed, whatever, by them, or you will be condemned. But if your words now affect your fate, then that means that your words arrive in your future before you do. Your words are almost like releasing through your mouth little invisible construction workers, and they're going to go three months, six months, a year into your future and start creating blessings or promises or problems, blessing or promise problems, I know I can say it, depending on what you've spoken, okay? That's why it's always essential to speak faith-filled words. By our words, we seed our future, and we're going to eat either the, the beautiful harvest and fruit or that we're just going to have weeds in our future. I want you to have beautiful fruit. Amen. In fact, Proverbs 13, 2 says that a good man or a man shall eat the, the shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth. That's what it says. Okay. Now consider the law of, of uh, cause and effect. Suppose somebody wants to be a engineer or a mathematician or a teacher. They go to college for that. Because what are they doing? By doing that, they're seeding their future for the career they want. So they simply reverse engineer what they want. You want to be a fireman? You want to be a cop? You want to be a construction worker? You want to be a boss? Whatever. Okay, reverse engineer that. What do you have to do to get to that place? If you want to be here, what do you have to, and you're here, what do you do to get here, right? Okay, so you reverse engineer it and you can find out what the cause is that produces the effect. Are you with me? Okay, for example, I know that I want to be healthy. I want to be lean. I want to be strong, even though I'm old. I want to have plenty of energy and endurance. And so what I have to do, and what I have done, is figure out what would cause those results, right? Proper diet, exercise, avoid the Twinkies, do some pushaways, push away from the table, Stuff like that, okay? And so when you understand that you can reverse engineer what you want, then you can uh, do today what needs to be done to do to get there. So I want you to be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. I want you to have on the full armor of God. I want you to do exploits for God. If that's what you want, then stop listening to the fear and doubt and unbelief that you hear in the world that causes the opposite of that, okay? And so you have to be able to know that by what you say and do and think and believe and all that kind of stuff is going to produce your future. And so start speaking and receiving the blessings of God by using the correct cause. And in this case, I'm talking about your words for the effect you want. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and I want you to know that the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. 
please get my free faith-filled app at the app store Pillars of Faith Christian. Start listening to my daily podcast. You can go back five and a half years, watch videos and uh, listen to my radio broadcast. And so like and subscribe below. I love you. Be blessed.